What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another Providence tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can back up your save states and also your games and or ROMs that you have within Providence. Uh, this is standalone on your device. You don't have to use a computer or anything. Um, and I'm showing you this just because uh, with these applications that you get from Tweakbox or whatever third-party application you're using, uh, every once in a while the app certificate will be revoked and you can no longer open it. So you, you basically have to delete it and reinstall it. That's the workaround. And when you do that, if you don't have a backup of your save states and all your ROMs and games, you will lose it all and have to re-download all of it and play through all the levels you played through before, which is super annoying. So I'm going to show you guys the workaround. Uh, so you can play Providence all you want, and as soon as you get this issue like I'm showing you here, what you want to do is go into the file application here, and I'll back out so you guys can see how to navigate here. Just go to on my iPhone, just like so, and then you'll want to go into the Providence folder. From here you can copy everything. On the wiki it says all you need to um, <clears throat> all you need to save is the, the battery states and then the save states, but I've, I haven't had any luck doing that. The best luck I've had is just copying everything in here and then uh, applying it to the new provenance. So what we're going to do is click select, and then we're going to select on all of these files, every single file that is within provenance. Let's make sure there's nothing else down there. There's not. So just make sure everything is selected, and then we're going to click the little share icon and click on copy just like so and now we can back out and then what we're going to do from here is just tap and hold anywhere that's a blank area and do new folder now i'm going to name this provenance backup just like so so we have provenance backup uh, once you are in that folder just tap and hold and click on paste and it's going to paste all of the items that you copied from the regular provenance folder into the provenance backup folder. So it looks like the part that's definitely taking the longest is the PlayStation game that I have installed just because it is a very large game. It's about 500 megabytes in size. So like I said, depending on how many ROMs and or games you have within provenance will depict on how long this process actually takes. But it's going pretty quickly. I wouldn't consider that super slow by any means. Uh, it's definitely a lot quicker to do this than it is to lose everything and reinstall it. That that would take forever. All right, we didn't get an error that time. So I'm not sure what the error was about, but this time it seems to have worked fine. So we have all of our files from Provenance in there right now. And now we can go ahead and delete the Provenance application. And as you guys will see, when you delete that app, you lose the Provenance folder. Let's go back and refresh it. As you can see, there is no longer a Provenance folder there, so that's why you would lose everything, and that's why we made backups. So from here, we can go back into Tweakbox, close out of the ad. We can reinstall Provenance. We can exit out of Tweakbox, wait for it to download and to install onto my device once again. All right, and then of course it'll be untrusted, so we'll have to go back into settings, go into general, go down to profiles and device management, and then we can go ahead and trust the Providence application, and now we can launch it. Now as you guys will see, it's completely empty because we need to move all of our backup files back into it. So what I'm going to do is go into multitasking here. I'm going to end it from multitasking, so quit out of the application. Now I'm going to go back into files, and as you can see, Providence has already auto-generated its own files. What I'm going to do is go into the backup here, and I'm going to select on all of these once again. Just like so. Make sure I got them all. Click on that share button. Click on copy. Go back. And of course, if you still have um, the files on your pasteboard or your copy board, you could literally just copy it all delete it, reinstall it, and then paste it all in one go, but I like I just like having the physical backup. So now we'll go into the Providence application. I'm actually going to delete all of these out, and you'll see there's a trash folder. If you back out and go back in, as you see that trash folder disappears, tap and hold, click on paste, paste in all those original uh, folders and files for Providence. Of course, this is going to be the same process. You'll just have to wait a minute or so for it to all paste back in. 
All right, it is done being pasted back in. So now we can exit out of the files application and relaunch Providence. And as you guys will see, I do have my games. They loaded up just fine. I did not have any save states because I have basically um, gone through and I've been toying around with this for these videos. So I didn't have any save states, but the save states will transfer over as well. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys that you can keep your game library, all the games you have, by doing this method, it's pretty much the workaround for the certificate of the applications being revoked and happen to, you know, you have to delete them. Uh, so this is your workaround. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. Uh, also, be sure to check out my Providence playlist. The link is down in the description where I show you all the different crazy stuff you can do with Providence on iOS 13. A very thorough basically tutorial playlist of the application uh, being able to play PlayStation games Nintendo Super Nintendo also how to download it install it how to use controllers with it the whole nine yards but anyways this has been Jeremy and I will catch you guys in the next one later